afternoon, everyone. He is having his formula. And this is pretty much what he's been doing all night. <laughs> his first night is drinking every two hours. Right, little Charlie? He loves his formula. I see that. Um, but right now, he's only drinking two ounces. So, he gets up to eat like every two hours for two more ounces. And he keeps it down pretty well. He doesn't spit up very much. So, that's good. But he can scream his little head off when he wants to. If you don't get that um, bottle fast enough, he will really have a fit and start screaming so you have to get his bottle quickly to keep him calm down he has very good lungs and i just try to burp him really good after he finishes eating so that way he won't have too much gas and spitting up but he did pretty well his first night home and I am just enjoying him more than I ever would have thought. <laughs> I really wanted him and definitely I'm happy with him because I kept him in my room last night. He didn't sleep up here in the nursery. I had him right back there where I could look at him and just admire him. So he was close by all night. That way, when he started screaming, I could just hurry up and get him and feed him. Pick him up really quickly because he wasn't far away. He slept um, on the boppy part of the night. And then I put him in the playpen the other part of the night. And here go the notifications. That um, noise is now on my laptop. There's always some notifications coming in from someplace. Right when I start doing videos. But I am definitely enjoying this baby. He is such a sweet little baby. I love his little face. And his size. He's like the perfect, perfect little size. So I am so happy with him. Um, I was comparing him to Gabriel to see the size. And Gabriel is definitely bigger than him. I didn't realize Gabriel was the size that he is until you compare him to other babies. So he is a little... Little Chase, Charlie, Charlie Chase. <laughs> um, he is a little smaller than Gabriel. But yet a little bigger than Levi Landon. So he's like in between his two brothers. So I usually feed him a little bit. And then burp him and then give him a little bit more. He does better like that. Um, rather than letting him drink all of it down, then he'll spit it up. He'll end up spitting up half of it if you do it like that. And I brought him in the nursery this morning. I figured we'd do our video up here. But I'm seeing like um, 
a glare of sunlight so I don't know how this lighting is going to turn out in here okay he stopped sucking so I'm going to stop him there for now and I'm going to change him once I burp him a little bit more we will go to the changing table and change him because I wanted to try him into a sleeper. So far, I've only had him in. He came home, he had a long sleeve onesie on, which was a zero to three months. And this morning, I changed him. Now this phone is gonna start with its notifications, I'm telling you. Um, this morning I changed him into this newborn onesie and he also fits this one really well and both of them are Gerba but I think this one fits him a little bit more snug it actually fits so there he is little mr adorable charlie so now we're gonna go over to the changing table i did um kind of fix him up just a little bit up here i didn't want to put too much because i kind of like you know that he has a little flop up in his chest area so I didn't do too much to it. I just added a little bit. And he is like nicely weighted. He has a nice weight to him. She has his head nice and heavy. And his bottom is nice and heavy. So he feels good when you hold him. So I just added a teeny little pouch up here. So he'd be a little more weighted up top. And now he just feels really perfect and he just snuggles right into you and he feels so good and I love him in just this t-shirt and his diaper and everything and his little hand mitts and he just looks so newborn and I love that look I love the way he feels when I hold him and he is one um, baby that I must say has rejuvenated my um love again for my vinyl reborns once again um Monet did that when she came home my Matilda by Joanna Kazmazak and now this little one um and definitely Levi last year when I got my first Levi um, a year ago, that baby really, really um, just brought me back into Vinyl Reborns. And every now and then, I drift back to my silicone dolls, which I love my full body silicones. Don't get me wrong. Um, definitely, they're still my number one. But this little guy has once again drawn me back in to vinyl reborns i must say i'm like really loving him and i love his coloring his little pink coloring he he tends to look pinker when i take pictures of him but he's like a perfect color he's not overly pink it's like he's like a very realistic um newborn baby skin tone he is the perfect little coloring and mottling. And I love that little mouth. He's just really, really adorable. He has definitely drawn me back in to Vinyl Reborns like full force. So let's go change him now because it's already 10 minutes into the video. Okay, so we are on the changing table. And so what I wanted to try on him is a sleeper. So I took out this Peter Rabbit little sleeper and 
it doesn't have any snaps this is the one that you have to pull up on them or pull over their head the snaps are down in the legs and the crouch area this one is the new baby size which looks so little but then again that looks like it could be his size so i'm going to try the new baby size on him first which is like our newborn size um this one is by mother care and it's up to 7.5 pounds so I think that's his size because then this one is Gabriel's and this one is the next size up which is the one month up to one month and you see how it like it smothers him so I'm thinking he is not a one month size I'm thinking he definitely looks more like I hope my camera doesn't drop it looks like this stand is loose but he looks like he's not quite a zero to three or a one month size he more is seems to be a newborn size baby like i said last night from what i could tell with the clothes so far for him and i ordered him some sleepers last night and I was, I was just hoping when I put this new baby size up to him that it would actually be right for him. And it seems to be because that's what I ordered from the UK again is um, a few sleepers and I got all new baby size. I took a chance without actually pulling out this one until this morning. But luckily I ordered this size because it looks like he is newborn. I'm going to try him in the one again because he is wearing the newborn size diaper and it it fits him but it's snug so i think in the diaper maybe i prefer um a bigger size so where are my okay i took out a wafer for him but what i have to get is a little piece of napkin to wrap this i cut him a piece of the wonder wafer baby powder scented wafer off to put in his diaper and i just pretty much take a piece of napkin as i've shown before and just wrap the wafer and it's not a clean cut napkin i just ripped it but it'll do the trick and just wrap that wafer so it won't be touching him I do love that baby scent on the babies. So. And I was so looking forward to getting up and changing him this morning. You know, when you get a new baby home, you want to like try this on them and that on them. Just to see what's best. The sizes. Yeah. Yeah. I like the um, size ones on him a little better. Um, it's just more roomy. Get those ruffles out. Pull down your little onesie. And I'm like... I was looking through my clothes to see what I have. And for him, for some reason, I don't know if it's because he's still new, but I just like the softer colors, as I said, the light blues, white, um, gray, those kind of colors. I'm going to take off his little ankle bracelet, his name bracelet. And he has like little let's see if I can zoom in he has like little um birthmarks in different places which I like that he has that one on his ankle then he has a little one right here on his thigh she put like different little markings on him in different places and it looks so realistic 
and I love his lips the way she has them. They look like that little wet look and they're the perfect color. And I don't know if you can see in his mouth over here. It looks wet inside of his mouth. <laughs> he is so cute. And that's his little baldy bean. I love his head. And all of the details and the veining and everything on his head. And he actually reminds me of my Sawyer. Which I still have my Sawyer here. He's still on eBay. He has not sold. But this baby here, Levi by Bonnie Brown, which is my Landon, and Chase. Like those three babies, I don't know. I just love each one of the kids so much. And I love them as boys. Um, This baby, Levi, and my Sawyer. I love all three of them as boy, baby boys. And this baby looks similar um, painted to my Sawyer. Very similar. He reminds me of him. I haven't put them together yet. But they definitely remind me of one another to the point that it makes me kind of want to keep my Soya. I think they definitely, like the three of them, Chase or Charlie here, Levi Landon, and then my Soya Michael make perfect um, brothers. So I don't know. If my little Soya doesn't sell, I might just keep him. And I do that every time with that Soya. I can't seem to let go of it. Um, I convinced myself that I didn't need Soya because I had Levi and, um, Levi is my boy and that, and Levi is enough. Now I have this little guy here and he's very similar to Soya. So I'm like, I don't need both of them. They're so similar to one another, but I would love, like, I think I like the three of them together. The three boys, then I'll be breaking my neck trying to do some triplet outfits, knowing me. It'll go past twinsies, then it'll be triplets, which is even more difficult, trying to get three um three of the same outfits or similar outfits or something that matches the color or something. Forget it. So, I don't know. We'll see if Little Sawyer sells. I've had some interest in him, but so far he's still on eBay. I'm not pushing his sale, though. <laughs> Somebody asked me for more pictures. I have yet to do that. I think if I send her more pictures, she was, she's going to buy him. And I'm kind of stalling on it a bit. So, he fits this... Um, new baby or newborn as we would say very well like he probably could do the one month he would have more space but this looks really cute on him because it fits him to the T exactly to his toes from his head to his toes it fits perfectly and that is Chase by Bonnie Brown in a new baby size in the UK sleeper. And what we would pretty much say newborn size in the US. This baby is like a perfect newborn size baby. And I love him without a hat. Um, I've had a few babies in my collection where I say, oh, I'm going to leave them bald. And I always end up rooting hair on them if it's babies that I've done myself or I will just mostly buy babies with rooted hair um my Sawyer has the painted hair and he's the only baby I have with painted hair well no because Levi has painted and um rooted hair combination so this little guy is my only bald baby right now where he's actually all bald no painted here. He just has the rooted eyelashes. And I really love his bald head. 
um, the way his head is sculpted, the way it's shaped, and and definitely um, his painting I love and all of the details. So I'm going to definitely try to leave this little guy bald. That is my goal, to leave him bald because I always will end up rooting them. You know, I'll say, oh, I'm going to leave them bald and then I don't. <laughs> but I'm thinking this little one, I'm really loving his baldness. <laughs> So, I'm going to try to leave him alone. He will just wear hats from time to time if I want him in a hat. Especially during the winter. But if I want him to just be his natural bald self, sometimes he might not wear a hat. I think he looks cute even without a hat. So, today he's going to have that little blue hat on. And his little blue mitts. And I like him with hand mitts too. He just, it makes him look, to me, the hand with hair, hand mitts make him look um, more newborn. So that is what he's going to wear. I had picked out two outfits for him, but I like that, the way it fits. Um, I was going to let him wear this little gray with the teddy bears. And this would have been perfect for last week when it was theme Thursday with teddy bears, but I never dressed anyone for theme Thursday last week. And it has these little pants and a little hat. So he'll do that outfit another day. Because the gray and white is the next color, like I said, that I like for him. And Levi. I like Levi in those little light baby colors too. But Levi is wearing red right now still. So I need to change him. But I actually like Levi in the darker colors as well. So they can kind of pull off um, two different colors. Either it could be dark or light. The darker colors bring out their skin tone more because they're lighter babies. And then the lighter colors make them to me look more babyish in the little light pastels. So he's going to get back this passy. I have to make him some more pacifiers. So that is it for now. That is my little boy. All dressed for the day. His first little pajamas. First outfit of the day. This could be actually an outfit. I don't know if they're PJs or if it's an outfit. <laughs> but that's him guys. So we'll see you again soon. And thanks for watching.